Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is your boy Montre. I want you to excuse my apartment for a second. Uh, I'm just gonna put that out there. They're doing some renovations on my patio. So um, I had to bring a few items into the apartment because all my patio furniture is inside. So excuse me for that. Um, a little cluttery today. It's usually, my apartment's usually cluttery, but it's a little bit more cluttery than usual. Uh, Today I wanted to talk about uh, fourth dimension awareness and how that relates to the Mandela Effect as I've been talking about for a little while now. And so uh, a fourth dimension is the dimension right after third dimension. So and I find it kind of weird that uh, especially with CERN and everything, they all keep, always keep talking about finding parallel dimensions. Well. To find a parallel dimension, the only next parallel dimension would be the fourth dimension, and uh, that's right next door, unless you go into the second dimension. So you're either going up or you're going down. Most likely, they're going toward fourth dimension. And um, there's already been kind of esoteric writings about the fourth dimension, or what we may also call the fourth heaven. And uh, the fourth dimension basically is the astral realm, the astral world. It is the uh, place where we dream. We all go there, we all interact with the fourth dimension in a spiritual way. And for those who are not connected spiritually, um, don't understand the fourth dimension. Most people who are not very spiritual, but are very, I guess, third dimension people, they only believe their five senses. They're very just analytical and left brain thinkers. They will only be in the third dimension awareness and that's okay you know we're not judging it's just that some people are able to tap into the fourth dimension awareness and go back in and out and those are usually people who can tap into the right brain mind and they may be artistic or creative type people uh, they may uh, experience psychic phenomena and stuff like that this is where we get a lot of fourth dimension awareness from the fourth dimension also rules not only psychic phenomena, but spiritual experiences, uh, intuition. Uh, females are very connected with that fourth dimension because you know they have that little intuition about things. Um, mothers get very connected to the fourth dimension because of the trauma that they experienced through childbirth. And so uh, they feel connections and they get senses uh, about their children uh, that never, they never really lose. Um, um, but that they don't get that through third dimension awareness they go through fourth dimension and come back down and they get that through their fourth dimension awareness so all that psychic intuition uh, what we would like to call magic uh, comes to fourth dimension awareness it is the astral realm and when we say astral we mean stars so uh, stars are also another name for angels uh, and there are a few YouTubers who have brought up to the uh, consciousness or have been speaking about that the, the stars that we see or the planets that we see in the sky are actually conscious beings or conscious uh, entities <coughs> that are in the sky. And uh, it will make you wonder because the planets are named after gods or Roman gods. Uh, or, yes, the Roman gods or the Greek gods, excuse me. Jupiter. Venus, the Roman gods. So it's interesting to that aspect. And I wanted to bring up all this because of the, the God Apollo and how Apollo is brought up in Revelations 9-11. I said in the last video that 9-11 is a very pertinent number, important date in Revelations. And even though I'm not a Christian, I don't throw the baby Jesus out with the bathwater. I think there's a lot of important information in there. And uh, <clears throat> I think it says a lot because Revelations re refers to a lot of things that happened in the book of Enoch when it came to the fallen angels uh, and them being trapped in different realms. And also it talks about the extraterrestrial spirits of the Nephilim who died in the flood and some of their spirits being also trapped in another dimension which would be the fourth dimension. So the fourth dimension is an imprisonment of not only the fallen ones, but of also a many, many, many demons 
Uh, there are some demons that are able to roam on the planet um, or in this world, in this third dimension awareness, but there are many that are in the fourth dimension, Apollo being one of them. And that is my uh, belief that this whole CERN thing is to release Apollo or Abaddon or Apollyon from his abode. Now, there are a lot of people who are saying all this Mandela effect is also our awakening to the fact and our awareness of being able to see these things. The age of Aquarius, the new age, and our ability to be able to notice the differences and to be able to see the differences. Um, a few people in the research group, in the Mandela research group, have also been saying uh, that it may have something to do with right brain, left brain thinking, and that a lot of people were noticing that a lot of people are right brain thinkers, or people who are able to uh, see the bigger picture, who are very artistic minds. And right brain thinkers definitely are able to tap into the fourth dimension awareness, uh, go in and out of that. Where left brain thinkers are more logical people, more analytical people who follow the rules, and that's okay, but we live in a left brain society. And if you look at it, society really doesn't encourage uh, right brain thinking. It pays you to be a left brain thinker. It pays you to ha have numbers to back up things and all that versus feeling and intuition and stuff. That doesn't pay, it doesn't get you a job uh, in this society, um, but it hasn't always been that way. But uh, in this society is more of a left brain thinker. Left brain is also the ma very masculine energy versus right brain is a very feminine energy. Uh, there was one video and I'll post a link to his video if I still have it, where it says that the age of Aquarius is a time of coming together of the right brain and left brain thinking. Uh, but uh, I just want to give you guys a few tidbits about the fourth dimension awareness. It is a very spiritual realm. It's the astral realm. It's the realm of dreams. It's the realm of intuition, psychic energy, uh, uh, manifesting things. And if they are, if the CERN project is tapping into parallel dimensions, i.e. the fourth dimension, if they're tapping into the fourth dimension and trying to make things happen, trying to pull something out of the fourth dimension, and we who are already kind of linked with the fourth dimension, are feeling it and seeing differences in the world, this is a very important time. It's a very important time when it comes to manifesting things, to making things happen. We realize that this that is the realm where things happen, as, both, as above, so below. Things have to happen in the fourth dimension before they can happen in the third dimension. And when things change in the fourth dimension, things change in the third dimension. So keep that in mind, because the higher dimensions are fifth, sixth, and seven. Those are very high spiritual dimensions. So we haven't even tapped to those. Otherwise, there will probably be a spiritual war because those are where very higher beings dwell. Um, so the fourth dimension, if you do something in the fourth, things change in the third, and that's just how it works. Give me your opinion on what that, what you think about that, if you just think it's just a bunch of bullocky, or if you got some more information that you would like to share, leave it in the comments below because if you don't do it, then who will? Peace out.